welcome back to Moto News. And uh, here we see uh, some action here on two wheels. The young lady uh, doing a little bit of balancing act. This is in front of a huge crowd for the 24 hours of Le Mans. And this isn't the four wheel version, this is the two wheel version. And uh, it's a good opportunity before the race to uh, show everyone the new models and huge crowds turn out for this of course it's the 14th Le Mans 24 hours for bikes and it's the first round in the new World Endurance Championships now this is Saron they're just basically talking about the event um, they've got three drivers or three riders in most of the teams some of the teams have got four riders most of them have got three and there we got uh, he said the problems is uh, motivating the team and uh, with the super bikes is really expecting or expected to go really well his team is Mertin and La Vieille they're on a Suzuki machine of course and um, they're really anticipating things to go well. Now, like with the with the motor car version, uh, pit stops are incredibly important, tire changes and maintenance. Here's uh, Green. And uh, his team on the Kawasaki with uh, Morrison and more. And he says it's going well. Number five is the, one of the ones to look out for. You're just talking about tactics and strategy. You probably picked it up there. It's always difficult, he said. It's the mechanical problems are the, are the things that are, are going to let their team down. A big cheer goes up, and I do love a traditional Le Mans start, don't you? And off they go. And... Uh, in the first lap, it's uh, Vieira, Duhamel and Battistini on the Kawasaki who go out in front on four. And uh, Kroen, who we were just talking to, is in second place. And uh, third place on that first lap is Saron. So, pretty well sort of set up at the moment. And... Uh, It's interesting to see how uh, Moneur, Igor and Mattiola on the Suzuki number one. Here we see the first pit stop of the Queen team. And uh, they're going really well. And he's saying, you know, 20, the 24-hour race is like the ultimate experience. If you're going to race motorcycles, uh, it really does require the absolute maximum. You see all the telemetry going on there in the pits, checking out uh, everything that's happening on the bike. And it really is a whole new world these days, of course. They're turning in 30-odd uh, laps an hour and they'll end up doing uh, over 700 laps. And uh, the Saron team, we're talking to Saron now, went really well. Uh, the first hour they were running third, second hour they were running third, and then they moved up to third, well, between third, fourth, fifth and sixth hour, um, they were running second all the way leading apart from a problem in the second hour Vera Duhamel and Battistini uh, bike four the Kawasaki were running first and they went down a ninth in the second hour but that was only a momentary lapse and then it was a big moment for Sauron in the seventh hour with 219 laps under their belts they moved into first place and uh, Meanwhile, as always happens at Le Mans, the crowds mill around and as nightfall comes, then of course the whole situation changes. Thank heavens the weather's good. I always worry about uh, 
what happens during the night if there's bad weather and the bikes uh, really do have uh, one or two problems. But number four is going really well all the way through and running first and second, really swapping with uh, Savon, Laviel and Mertens, number two. Into the pits comes five. And this is Morrison Moore and Kreen. And they're going for a refuel. And uh, through the night, it's welcome sight to get into the pits and then back out into the darkness again, uh, back into the racing. Battistini here, part of the team four, being asked how he got on. Well, he's saying, uh, what are you going to do, you know, when you come off a long session? You're going to go and uh, have a sleep? He said, yeah, I'm going to sleep and have a shower and uh, just relax a bit if I can. Great pressure. You could see where the pressure was telling on him. Great scenes here from the 24-hour bikes at Le Mans. Still got uh, number four out there dominating the event from the front. But other people are starting to make one or two inroads as well. We've got problems uh, with the Suzuki of Sauron, Laviel and Mertin. And a uh, big problem because in the 20th hour of the race, uh, they had to retire. And uh, they'd already completed 593 laps. And uh, La Vielle... Just saying it's a problem, a mechanical problem, and, and there you go. That's what racing's all about. So there's no mechanical problem with four. And uh, number nine starts to make a tremendous attack as the daylight hours come. This is Monterey, Bonwheel and Nikot. And the fascinating thing is this is a privately entered machine and the Yamaha looks superb in the early hours. It took third place. I mean, moved up steadily, really. It's been lapping through the, through the early part of the race, eight, six, five, fifth and fourth. And then during the night, it was lapping in fourth and fifth position. And uh, then it moved up to third position and come about 580 laps into the front and no one could catch them. And uh, tremendous stuff with number five sort of moving in and out of second and third with number 11, the Honda of Hislop, Buckmaster and Linscott. So got Yamaha, Kawasaki and Honda. And here we see the Viera Duomil Battistini Kawasaki. Kreen. He's just given it all he's got. And uh, what can you do, you know? He said, that, that's the race. That's the way it runs. Yeah. He's saying, you know, you win or second place. There's really not that much in it. But uh, here we see... A fantastic pit stop and uh, the private entry really showing the guys. This is Bonnui, the second driver. And uh, he says it's fabulous for a private team. And he said uh, for a private team, it's something just to finish this event and even arrive at the finish line. Yeah, and he's quite happy with all of that. And uh, the crowds 
start invading the old circuit as they cheer and they cheer and they cheer and Monterey takes the Yamaha machine across the line having completed 724 laps in second place Crean Morrison and Moore uh, in third place Viera Durmil and Battistini and in fourth place his lot Buckmaster and Lynn Scott so there we see Nicot the third rider Oh, the winning team, tired he looks, but he's over the moon. He says it's absolutely superb stuff. And we said this was round one of the World Endurance Championships. Round two takes place in Spa on the 14th of July. Uh, round three, Suzuka on the 28th of July. Round four on the 8th of July at Furore. Round five in September in Castelfe Castellet, sorry. Round six in Donington in September, the end of September. And the last one takes place on the 20th of October. Exciting stuff. For me, Peter Neustadt, I'll leave you with the French in Le Mans celebrating a private win on a Yamaha of the 24 hours of Le Mans. Bye for now.